This show is sponsored by Axe Broadheads, Millennium Tree Stands, The Chase Deer Scent, Extreme Archery Products, Antler Insanity. Welcome to Reality Hunt Club. In this webisode, we're talking about rain, rain, and more rain. Stay tuned and find out what we're talking about. episode we're talking about rain now last year we were in a drought really bad drought we were very fortunate to get just the amount of rain at the right time in order to grow our peanuts and our other crops that we grew and um, we had some decent antler size compared to the year before that when we lost everything due to the drought so one thing about it is with your antler growth one thing we've learned is you got to have the rain and you got to have the minerals in the dirt and if you can, if you have those two, then you can grow the crops, and the deer can consume them, and they can grow nice big antlers, and and the mama does can have some real good milk for the fawns, and you can just have a really healthy de deer herd. Now, this is a spot where Tad and I sat, and I'm gonna show you the clip of the video. And this whole this whole lake was dry, and that we have a blind here that used to be a deer blind, now it's a turkey blind. I mean, not a turkey blind, but a duck blind, and um. So basically we had a couple cold fronts come in in February and within three days it filled this whole lake up. Actually it was overflowing the bank here. Now normally in February we get four inches of rain. Well we got 13 for the month of February and I promise you I think they got seven, seven of that 13 in like four days and it just filled it up. And what's funny is is in the video we had a feeder out in the middle of this lake and two weeks before that flood I came here and drove down that road behind us out in the middle of that lake and picked the feeder up and got it out of there because I was afraid that we might get a flood like we did. So luckily we didn't have to go scuba diving to get our feeder out. And I sent Tad a picture of this when I was up here a week or so ago and he couldn't hardly believe it. And when we drove up here, something else ain't it? Just thinking of all those deer we saw down there and you popped that doe. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Apparently, we are out of the drought, which I'm extremely happy. And the only bad thing is we've got a lot of standing water in the drains. The last time it was like this was in 2007. And in um, 2007, we had two of the biggest deer we ever had. And now, you know, that's what, 2007? That's five years ago. We just started getting um, going with our good management plan. So we had two really nice bucks. I'll show you a picture of these bucks right now. One of them was a deer I like, which is no brow, and unfortunately, I never got a chance to get that deer, and he got run over by an 18-wheeler. The other one is a, what, what we call the 15-point, which Chuck Campbell shot, and um, he was a young four-and-a-half-year-old deer. He was actually a 162-inch deer, and that was a year. And, of course, we had a big rain like this, and we planted soybeans. And guess what we plan on planting this year? Soybeans. So, you know, you hear of hunting being cyclical, so I sure hope it is cyclical because um, we've got some big bucks I showed you on a previous webisode that made it through that are hanging around. So if they get out there and eat that soybeans and the soybeans grow with all this rainfall, maybe we'll get a chance to kill some um, club record bucks next year. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this um, freak of rain. I mean, you're talking about flash flood and... Um, Anyway, we're back to where we need to be on our rainfall, so now we're getting ready for turkey season, and during turkey season, we'll plant our soybeans. So anyway, you got anything to add, bud? Not really. Not really? You want to go swimming? Too cold. It's like 35 degrees a day and a little snow flurry. You don't want to jump in there? Mm -hmm. Not for the camera? Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, that's it for this. Rain, rain, and more rain. So anyway, thanks for watching Rally Hug Club, and stay tuned. We're going to bring you more webisodes soon. If you like this show, check out our other shows at Hunt365.tv.